Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I want to show you a really cool tool that not a lot of people really uh, really use or really think about and that is the Puppet Warp tool. So the Puppet Warp is really kind of a fun tool for uh, kind of manipulating uh, what it's typically used for is manipulating kind of body parts. Uh, you can do a lot of other things obviously but uh, a lot of people use it for manipulating uh, you know different limbs of a person to maybe st straighten them or move them around or rotate them. And so I want to kind of show you an example of that here. So we have this photo here. And what I want to do for this specific example is take this person's leg and I want to kind of straighten it up just a little bit to where it's more, more up and down here. And then we also have the arm. I want to kind of correct the little bend in the arm. So to do the puppet warp, you really need one thing to start working uh, and have a, a, the best result possible. And you really need to cut out uh, cut out exactly what you're going to use the puppet warp on. So for this example, I don't really need to cut out the whole person. Uh, what I'm going to do is since I'm only going to use the leg, uh, manipulate the leg and the arm, I'm just going to cut out both of those. Now there's a lot of ways to do that. I've actually already cut these out. I've saved a selection. Uh, so if I go over here to select load selection, I have one called leg and arm. I'm just going to click leg and you can see I just cut out the leg here. Um, not even including the clothes here, just just the leg and the shoe. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and now that I have that selected, I'm going to go up to select, modify, and smooth. And I'm just going to do one pixel. That's just going to smooth out the selection just a little bit. And now all I'm going to do is click Command or Control C and then Command or Control V. And that's going to paste it on its own layer here. So you can see we just have a leg there. So now we're going to go up here and do the same thing. We're going to click Select, Load Selection, uh, Arm. And you can see right here, I just have the selection on this arm here, right before it gets to the top of the clothing here, just the selection of the arm. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, go over here to select modify smooth one pixel and then commander control C commander control V. And now we have a leg and an arm there. So this is where we start using the puppet warp. And this is going to be a really cool, uh, a really cool method for for warping a lot of a lot, a lot of different things. You can obviously use liquify if you wanted to, but uh, this is a really cool example of it. So what I'm going to do is start with the uh, leg first. I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to hide the arm, and to get to the puppet warp, you're just going to go over here to edit and then puppet warp. And you can see here it creates like a mesh that goes along the leg area or whatever you have selected. And so up here you have a couple different options. We have normal, uh, which is what I usually keep it on as far as the mode. And then we have density. This is one where you might have to play around with depending on what you selected. So if you have a normal on here, it's going to kind of look like this. It's going to have a, a normal general overview of, of where all the points could go. If you're working on larger objects, maybe you're you're mor morphing a, a street or something like that, uh, fewer points will probably be better. And if you have uh, a lot of detailed things, you're probably going to want more points. So this will give you a lot more points to play with. I usually keep it on normal. Uh, that really really kind of gets me in the right uh, right range there. So I never really have to change it that much. So now you have this little thumbtack here. And what this is used for is to kind of create anchor points along where you're going to manipulate. So think of this person's leg. We all have joints and, and knees and all that kind of stuff. So we really want to create a anchor point right here because this is where a knee actually actually bends. So I'm going to create an anchor point right there. Up here, uh, right where it goes to the shorts here, I want to create a bunch of anchor points right here because I don't want this to move whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here here and then here. So this will make it basically not move. So it's only going to basically bend at the leg. Down here on the shoe, I'm going to create one on the heel and one on the toe because I might want to tilt the foot a little bit and maybe one on the ankle. So this is kind of where we're, we're at here. So now when we want to manipulate it, I'm going to take the knee and I just want to slide it over. Just grab that anchor point, slide it over. Same thing with the, uh, the, the toe here. I'm going to take the toe and just angle that up a little bit and maybe take the heel and back that down as well. So there we go, we have the heel there, so it's not it's not pivoting where the ankle is, we just wanna kind of correct the angle of the foot and also straighten up the knee just a little bit. So now you can see, if we toggle that off, you can see where the original leg was and now where this one is more straight. So now we're gonna go up to the arm and do the same thing. I'm gonna go over here to the arm, edit, puppet warp, 
and again create an anchor point I'm gonna I'm gonna basically make this whole area not move just like I did on the leg here so I'm gonna create anchor point here 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 and here uh, and then I'm gonna create one on the elbow and on the hand so now what I'm gonna do is grab the elbow and I'm just gonna change that over just kind of pull it in right there and you can see it might be kind of manipulating the forearm a little bit so we want to create one right there as well and just kind of move this over right around there we can take the hand move that up a little bit and maybe drag this down a little bit more all right and let's put one on the bicep here and just kind of pull that in as well try to make it a little bit more straight there we go okay so that is our selection there so now what we need to do is get rid of the original body parts here the original leg and the arm so the easiest way to do that is actually just to create a layer especially if you have a clean background like this create a brand new layer I'm gonna go ahead and get the colon stamp and just start taking away the original leg here I'm gonna be very sloppy with it but you kinda get the idea just kinda taking away that underlying leg and as well as the arm right here and there we go so we see kind of straightened up the leg a little bit straightened up the arm so now if we were to hide all of this this is what kind of what we started with and then this is kind of what we ended up with all right guys thank you for joining me in this video about puppet warp it's a really awesome tool it does take a little bit of time to get used to and it's a little challenging depending on your subject but the key is to really cut out the the elements that you really want to warp and you'll have a lot better time kind of messing with them and getting them in the right place. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.